what's going on guys welcome back once again to some more the walking dead season 9 episode 3 and 4 is here today and as you guys know i'm gonna say this until i finish completely catching up with the show you guys will not be seeing this for a while but i am recording you know not at my girl is home i can take care of her from home and stuff like that she's not in the hospital anymore so right now we're at home i got time i can record but i'm doing all of this stuff in advance so that i can off so that i can be in advance with everything that is going on on the channel and i don't have to worry about catching up you guys will have plenty of stuff to watch for at least a month before i start doing something new on the channel which i will be prepping in advance for everybody okay so um right now as you're watch as as we're watching this i'm already done with the last kingdom i'm all caught up season four is done okay season four is done you might be watching this at the same time as the last kingdom um um is coming back to the channel but just know that i am done catching up with with last kingdom i finished it in like i just been watch record for like two or three days and i just finished up it was only like 20 episodes so it was it wasn't that bad you get what i'm saying it's only like 20 episodes um i did it all in like three days so i'm done with the last kingdom so all i have to do is just get those rendered out and ready for the channel to go but we're here talking about The Walking Dead. I'm looking forward. As I said, I think a civil war is going to break out, but that's yet to be seen. That's what I think is going to happen. But in any case, we're going to jump into these reactions, episode three and four, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episodes three and four of season nine, The Walking Dead. Wow, how it ended there, um, I never would have guessed that it was Oceanside behind the killings. You couldn't, if you told me that, I would have denied it straight up. <sighs> this season is a very good season. Objectively speaking, it's already better than season eight and I'm gonna tell you guys why and I've already stated this in the last review where I tell you that you can see the difference in the writing and the writing style the writing for season eight just didn't fit the walking dead you get what I'm saying it just didn't fit what we what we are used to in the show so it just didn't fit everything was just kind of done a little bit too hap hap haphazardly you get what I'm saying? It was like, it's whatever. It's the walking dead. They're going to accept it. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like with no care. There's no passion in the writing. You get what I'm saying? It's like it was a different person directing the episodes and stuff like that. It, it just didn't fit what we were used to for seven seasons. Something was different. As I said, it wasn't a terrible season. But it just didn't come up to par. Already four episodes into season nine, we're back. You get what I'm saying? I can see why people say that season nine, things really went back to how they were in a way. And the, season, and the show picked back up. People started to love The Walking Dead again. I get it. Because it's so much more comprehensive. It's so much more the flow. The flow of the show just flows without hiccups. Things are going on. There's no, you know, it leaves you with a sense of satisfaction and a sense of wonder and mystery at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So I love that. So let's talk about what happened. So we got Jadis. I would have really liked to have her around, though. You know, it, she has become, you know, a, a character that I like in the show. Um, so I was happy to see that she was around the camp, around everybody and stuff like that, but she feels left out and I understand why she feels that way because every, because of what she has done, people don't really trust her and stuff like that. It kind of is the same way how the saviors feel 
um, and that's why they're rebelling, even though they really should, you know what I'm saying, it, and this is all happening because of Oceanside taking revenge, you know what I mean, if, if, if Oceanside didn't do what they did, then it wouldn't have trickled down, and then you can kind of say it's Maggie's fault, but it's not really because she shouldn't have taken that as a sign to take revenge on people who have wronged you in the past because Maggie gave Gregory so many chances to change. You get what I'm saying? It's obvious that the saviors were changing. And the reason why I didn't feel like a rat was going to survive that situation it's because of what she did. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't feel like... I think they were just giving us as... Because giving us as the audience that still believes that there could be this utopian future a reason for us to be okay. They have reason enough to kill her. And that's why they went through the whole spiel with that scene of explaining what she did. You get what I'm saying? Because... It would have been fine. It would have been fine for them to just do the scene and just say, okay, we know she's one of the people that was at the camp that took out the kids, the, 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 the males from Oceanside, right? When she was part of it because she was with Simon. But they went through the whole thing of the part that she played with it. You know what I'm saying? And once that was explained, I was like, they're planning to kill this character. She's not going to survive this situation. And it just so happens that the two people that would ne that probably they're so on the fence about everything, which is the um, Daryl and Maggie that happens to come upon them. You know what I mean? So the two people that is most likely to walk away and turn turn their backs on this character, right? And to allow Oceanside to do this, that's the people that showed up. So that was well written because we know if it was Rick, Rick would have tried to talk them down from it anyways, you know, based on what's been going on. So um, in terms of uh, a, a very good situation coming out from that i just never saw it happening so a rat is gone she killed some she doesn't hesitate to kill and that's the thing about her i don't i think she does enjoy it she did cut rosita's face without hesitation she killed the character when Negan um, told her to kill the character. I think it was the same character that was bringing food to the house. I don't remember her name, okay? She was the one that was watching over the pantry at Alexandria. That's all I remember about her. I don't remember her name quite that much. She was always the one that was bringing food to the house when Negan was over there. Um, bringing stuff to Negan to cook and shit um, when he was over there. At the house with Carl and, and Judith, right? So, in my opinion, on what... I don't know if this will kind of change Daryl's mind. But right now, Rick is in trouble. I don't think he's going to die, but I'm worried. I don't think he's going to die. I think Maggie and old girl that's with her. One with the with the ass. I think they're, I think they're going to... Um, go, end up finding Rick because she saw Rick's axe so I'm guessing she's probably going to come rescue Rick um, that's at least that's what I'm hoping for um, with the situation that's happening with Michonne and Negan that conversation was very well done um, you know with Michonne getting up all night she's not sleeping but it's like she's troubled you know what I mean she you know in certain terms Negan was telling her the truth because it's what we are witnessing outside of the cell and what's going on with her. You know what I'm saying? He was talking some some truth. Not all of it was the truth. Um, he was just kind to kind of warm her up. And he wants to see Lucille so bad. I don't even know where that damn bad is. Where is it? 
You know what I mean? Where is the bat? You know, did they leave it at the tree where he got his throat cut? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But in any case. Yeah. But in any case, there's a lot. There's a lot going on right now. And I'm worried for Rick, most of all. Um, you know, there's a... They didn't show us the camp again, but there's a fight going on at the camp. Gunshots are being fired. Pfft, Carol better be okay, is all I'm trying to say. Carol better be okay. Um, there's other people there that I'm worried about. Um, but the saviors are just, man, they just, you know, no matter the era, there's always conflict, man. Even when you're trying to create peace, there's always someone, you know what I mean? But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, I'm I'm on edge because I'm not going to be able to watch any more episodes tonight. Um, so tomorrow when I watch more episodes, I'll get to see what's going on. Thank God I don't have to wait a whole freaking week to see what happens with Rick. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. And as always, man, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will catch you guys later, man.